Within English football, there are 11 different tiers, including the Premier League, Championship, League One, League Two, National League, National League South and North, the Northern Premier League, Premier Division, Southern League Central Division, Southern League South Division, Ishmian Premier Division, seven regional leagues, 14 regional leagues, 20 regional leagues, and grassroots county leagues. As well as the 11 different leagues in English football, we also abbreviate them to professional, semi-professional, and grassroots. Hi, I'm Matthew Worthington. I'm a professional footballer for Yeovil Town. Hello, my name is Morrissey Tucker, and I'm a semi-professional footballer for Wincanton Town Football Club. Hi, my name is Trevor, grassroots footballer who plays for South Peterton FC. We play in South Peverton and for me, our pitch is, is all amongst the best in grassroots Perry Street football. <laughs> At the moment, we don't play at our home ground up in Moor Lane, Wincanton. We currently play Gillingham, Woodwater Lane. We're just waiting for the drainage system to be fixed, which is not so long, hopefully. The pitch is not the greatest, uh, limited seating. Pitch is quite bobbly. It does the job for now. Can't wait to get back. <laughs> Yeah, our home ground's uh, very good, a proper old-fashioned football stadium. Obviously, it's full four-sided all the way around. Good crowds, uh, averaging about two to three thousand fans each week. <laughs> Our warm-ups are very well organised. Uh, Gary Chapman, assistant manager, Mitch, AD, they take us through a bunch of stretching, runs, they just really get us up for the game. Passing drills, shooting, it just all starts from the beginning. It doesn't start before the match, it starts before we get there. Just gotta get ready. Yeah, the warm-ups um, are always prepared before we go out for training and matches. We have a sports scientist called Scott Wickens that sorts it all out for us. Yeah, they're all well organised and uh, well drilled every week. It's grass football. <laughs> so we try and make them coordinated and organised. Basically with grassroots football, everyone does what they want. We try, as South Peterton, we try and make them as coordinated as we want. I've got to do everything.
played football all my life since I can remember. Like from the age of four or five, I was already kicking a football and football was always around my life. But the one reason I think I've always played football is because of my dad. It was a way of me to connect with my dad. I play for fun, for fitness. I've been pretty good at it, so we're just gonna see how far I can go. Maybe play uni football. Personally, I don't think that I'm good enough to play football at a higher level. Um, this is a difficult one. It's definitely not for money. I think when you're younger, you play. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. I think as you get older and you, it becomes a job. There's a lot of stress uh, with football that comes with football. No, I do still enjoy. I love playing football, obviously. I'm something I'm good at, and uh, it does pay the bills. <laughs> With results, it always depends on what the result has been. There are losses where you feel we could have done better. There are losses where you feel we didn't have a chance. So it's always, but then a victory is, is always joy. So results and the feeling of results depends on what you actually got on the day out of the game. Depending on the result, if it's a, a bad result, it's normally kind of two ways. It's very quiet in the changing rooms or there's a lot of people saying a lot of things. Some arguments can happen out of frustration. If it's a positive result, a win, everyone's very happy, the music's straight on um, and everyone's having a good time. Obviously, no one likes losing. I'm a team player and I just, I can't stand a loss really. Obviously, a 1-0 win, Gritty Tuesday night, nothing beats it really. After every win, it's amazing. And we always do this chant, we always do this little Irish man, we always chant at the end, it's amazing. You say it's best, you say it's best, when you say nothing at all.